Uh, Nick, give us the details of this new lockdown. Well, it involves 360,000 people in this region in uh, western Germany. Uh, there are 6,600 employees in the Tunis slaughterhouse meatpacking plant who are concerned. 1,500 have tested positive. Police have been deployed to surround their accommodation. Now, the uh, thinking is the accommodation, the close quarters they live in, the fact that they all have to take a minibus to the meat packing plant uh, really created the ideal prop, uh, conditions for the propagation of the virus. Outside of those 1,500 workers who have come down with the coronavirus, uh, only 24 people outside in the larger region have tested positive. So Armin Laschet, who is the governor of North Rand Rhineland, Westphalia, has said what's going to happen is this new lockdown series of measures, which involves no cinemas, no bars, no gyms, uh, no going, we have to wear face masks again, basically going back to, to uh, March and April conditions, uh, will last for a week, there'll be more testing, and then they'll just reevaluate. So it's a measure that has a, a shelf life, but then they're going to reconsider how things uh, should be moving forward. It needs to be said that a lot of these guest workers come from Romania and Bulgaria. Uh, they don't get paid as well as many German workers would, and the head of the leading medical research institute has said that listen we have to look at coronavirus as partly a poverty problem and i think that's part of the part of the solution here and nick again we have to remind people that this is in a very specific a part of germany what's the situation like in the rest of the country well i think as you know I want to say panic-inducing, or as alarming as this might seem, um, it's a bit of an outlier because the big picture in Germany is that the crisis has been, by the estimation of other foreign leaders and, and, and the press in Germany and the general feeling here in Berlin and other parts of Germany, it's been well managed. Um, Germany has been fortunate to a certain extent. The initial cases were among young people. There is an overabundance, if you can believe it, of ventilators and emergency care beds after years of people saying we're spending too much in health. Turns out Germany needed them. Um, and massive, massive testing. So cases are detected really early. Uh, we have about 190,000 cases. And and only around 8,900 uh, deaths, which means around a 5% fatality rate, which is relatively good. And Angela Merkel has had to manage their 16 regions with regional governors like Armin, La Armin Laschet, we we're just talking about, come up with deals with them because the different regions have different kinds of measures. But she is the boss and basically can pull the emergency brake when she needs to and, and uh, you know, put all kinds of new lockdown measures should there be a second wave. Thanks, Nick. That's Nick Spicer there reporting from Berlin.